Hola, ¿qué tal? Aro, ¿todo bien? ¿todo bien? Welcome guys to our new video and today we are going to talk about a movie that many people told us to watch and this is Call Me By Your Name First of all I have to say one thing the movie could be done in less than one hour just saying because I have many images and things that is not necessary in the movie The movie is too long, it's two hours and a quarter I think so it's way too long And for example, in the first hour of the movie, nothing happened. It's really everything happened. totally the same. And also the movie, for me, I mean, at least for me, is divided in three parts. The first part is like the first hour, which is absolutely the same. Then after one hour, you think that the thing is changing a bit, but it's the same, but not the same. You know what I mean, right? And then the first 10 minutes, which for me is the, the best part of the movie, um, is really... <coughs> It's going to happen every day. Nice. But we are not here for good chat. We are here for talking about the movie, the history and everything. The history is a bit similar of us, you know. In the movie, they, I don't know, I have the feeling of they didn't have a, a boy before, you know, something like that. So it's more or less like me and Thomas. We never have that, you know, before. So they start to school with each other. They started with a friendship like us. And they, when they see, they was in a relationship and everything was so intense and It's like us, you know, we start like a friendship and everything and then start the signals, you know, behind the messages and then when we see we was a relationship. But different of the guys, we have a happy ending, you know. In addition, like I have the feeling that the story is a bit typical. Typical in the sense that you you can figure out what's gonna happen. <coughs> There is just a small thing in the final that you don't expect. So I mean that is the thing that impressed me the most. But the whole story is a bit typical, you know? I have the feeling that if this movie is, has been so famous and so known and everything, it's because it is giving image to, to gay people, you know? People that are attracted to the same sex. So in, the, in that sense, it's fine, but I have the feeling that the movie could be a bit better. If you get the story in total, it's a good story, you know, because it shows the both sides of the coin, you know? The side where your family accept it and everything can happen and the side of your family don't accept it. In your case, our family accept that without problem, but I know that many persons have the problem of the family don't accept and everything. I don't know, it's a bit delicate to talk about that. I know that that movie show a bit the reality of people like us, but you know. The movie gives me that feeling of they want to show to their persons how was it, you know. It's not like how everyone thinks like, oh my gosh. He meet a guy and they do like this and is that, you know? No! In the beginning, I feel weird, like the boy. I feel confused, you know, because like, oh my gosh, why can't have feelings for this boy and everything, you know? I see myself a bit in the movie in that scene. We leave it this, uh, we accept how we are and we say, okay, we're gonna stay together, we're gonna leave this, and we're gonna fight for this. I think that the movie is super long because they show you all the faces of a relationship. In Not this, that, in baby. this kind of relationship. Yeah, I think so. Because, for example, I think that the first hour is boring because they want to make you believe that Oliver is not into guys. So then you are like, okay, he is, he's not, he is, he's not, he is, he's not, and then... <coughs> and he is, you know, and they start the relationship and everything. The movie is recorded in a different way, like it's not what you are used to watching in movies that you want the perfection, the technical perfection, like you see that there are many days that are not perfect and everything but I think that is good because it makes you get into the... the yeah, you really feel that you was watching a super old movie and in my opinion, the story of it one that talking about was a good thing because it showed the reality of many persons but in the end the movie is a good movie But yeah guys, I hope that you understand that we are giving our opinion if you like the video, give us a like you can use to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video, bye!